Moving on to our next topic, let's take a look at spyware. Spyware is another blanket term for software that gathers information about a person or organization without their knowledge, thus the term spy. Okay, they're secretly gathering information about what you're doing. It might send that information without the consumer's consent. And there is different types of spyware out there. I want to take a look at two of the bigger ones that we need to be aware of. The first one is called a keylogger. And a keylogger does just that, okay? Here are dirty mouse or dirty keyboard. Here is your keyboard, right? And it will actually keep track of the keys that you're typing. So why would we want to do that? Well, you use your keyboard to enter your username and password. Remember that authentication chapter we taught or lessons we talked about? So it can gather usernames, it can gather passwords, it can record your keystrokes on a keyboard. And then it can send that information to whoever had that software installed on your computer. So this is some bad stuff. So in other words, let's say that your password's, um, password's compromised. Let's say you're on Facebook or Twitter and somebody logs on as you and then you go back and change your password and sure enough, a day later, two days later, they're back on your account. Most likely you have a keylogger on your computer. So no matter what you change your password to, it's still sending that information to somebody else. So those are keyloggers. Now, what's also interesting is keyloggers are also sold commercially. Now, they're not called keyloggers as such, but if you've ever seen like spouse spying software, you know, you, you see them on daytime television, you know, is your spouse cheating on you? And uh, is there significant other cheating on you? And you can install software on a computer to see what they're typing and see what their text messages are. That's a type of keylogger. And we also can buy it as parents to watch our children. So they sell these software programs that you can install on your kid's computer to monitor what they're doing. These are types of keyloggers. So the next one after keyloggers is adware. Adware is advertising supported software. This automatically renders advertisements in order to generate revenue for its author. So it's tracking what you're doing, it's tracking your interests, what you're viewing, what you're searching for, and then presents you with ads in hopes that you either buy the product or they're charging for advertisement. In the next video, we're going to take a look at some of the more classic signs of infection.